During the 20th century, an investigation into Catholic orphanages in the U.S. revealed systematic abuse, which many children faced from the nuns who were supposed to love and take care of them. At St. Joseph's Orphanage in Burlington, Vermont, former residents say the abuse sometimes led to death. The Netflix original series Warrior Nun takes us behind the curtains to one of these orphanages based in Andalusia, Spain. When having a first glance to the church, one would swear it to be holy ground, however. Underneath these majestic temple walls, awaits a dark historical morgue, where the lifeless body of 19-year-old Ava Silva was laying. She passed away the previous night from being poisoned by the head of nuns, Sister Francis. Upon registering Ava, she instructed the monk at the church to leave the cause of death, blank. The show kicks open doors, when the Order of the Cruciform Sword, a group of warrior sisters whose purpose is to defend the earth against demons, were forced to fall back and tend to their mortally wounded leader. As the leader of the OCS, Shannon possesses a mystical artifact known as the Halo that gives her supernatural powers. Due to Shannon's critical injuries obtained, the surgeon nun explains that she will not survive the ordeal, so the sisters decide to remove the halo in order to prevent the demons from capturing it and also to pass it down to its next in line barrier. After hearing that Shannon will not make it through if the halo gets removed, Sister Mary strongly disagrees and threatens to kill anyone who dares to touch her leader. Sister Beatrice agrees with Sister Lilith, but it is Shannon who manages to convince Mary that it is the best thing to do under given circumstances, and the group decides to continue. Shannon warns Mary not to trust anyone before the surgeon nun manages to remove the halo from her back, and everyone gets lost in its glowing presence. Mary gets a chance to say goodbye to Shannon, but before the surgeon nun could transfer the halo to Sister Lilith, they get interrupted by a massive explosion caused by the demons that followed them. The surgeon nun was the only one who didn't lose consciousness. She gets shot at when the demons enter, but managed to make a run for it after grabbing the halo with its custom-made tool. She slips on the stairs while trying to get away and the halo falls. This causes the demon shooting behind her to catch up. He tries to pick up the halo, but quickly loses his fingers in the attempt to do so. This gives the surgeon none a chance to pick up the halo again. She runs into the first open room she can find, and here she sees Ava lying on the table. She immediately decides to hide the halo inside of Ava. The demon finds her, and a struggle between the two of them takes place. While this is happening, the halo starts working in the body of Ava and she comes back to life. She screams to the top of her lungs before realizing that she is able to feel her entire body. She then sees the nun fighting for her life with the fingerless demon. The surgeon nun gets killed by the demon. Ava sees the demon that possessed the soldier in a cloud of red mist and out of panic she chased it off with the tool made for the halo. Ava is confused. And figures that she is probably in a dream while finding her way out of the bombed up church. Upon her first interaction among people, she appears to be a mental patient on the run, who's having difficulty keeping her medicine down. She gets hit by a minivan and ends up flying through the walls of a nearby shop. Here she realized that she has the ability to heal. She sees the upscale apparel hanging around her, and couldn't resist giving herself a stylish makeover. Ava sees herself for the first time in a reflection on a store display glass, and also for the first time, she completely loves herself. Ava is grateful for the miracle, but she has questions. She is looking for answers that can explain the possibilities. Back at the church, the OCS receives a visit from the individual they report to, Father Vincent. Sister Mary and Sister Beatrice explain how they got ambushed by the demons, and Father Vincent discovers from the monk at the church that Ava received the halo. Father Vincent believes that Ava was supposed to receive the halo as the prophecy fulfillment. Ava decides to pay a visit to her lifelong roommate and also the only friend that she had at the orphanage, Diego. When he sees her, he cannot believe his own eyes and he also figures that it must be a dream and that Ava must be an angel. Ava tells him that it's all real, but she is also not sure how it's possible. Diego warns her not to allow anyone at the orphanage to see her, and tells her to make the most out of her second chance before whoever is responsible finds her. She leaves seconds before Father Vincent arrives to learn more about Ava in order to locate her. When he asked about her whereabouts, Sister Francis tells him that Ava never left the orphanage as she was a quadriplegic. 
she didn't have any other family or friends. He searches her room for any hints, and observes how poor the orphanage living conditions are. Meanwhile, Ava takes a stroll on the beach and enjoys the magnificent wonders of nature. She runs fast and freely with the wind, until her body cannot keep up. As she feels the silky sand under her, she sobs as she is overcome with joy while she looks at the stars above. Back in the city she sees the same red cloud of mist that she saw after she regained consciousness at the church. She decides to follow it in hope for answers. She ends up in a local bar where she cannot stop herself from dancing her heart out to the loud music playing. A girl standing close to the dance floor while staring at her confuses Ava for someone being drunk and she offers Ava her first sip of alcohol. Ava does not like the sting of taste, and spits it back out on the floor. The bouncer of the bar does not appreciate that move, and he tries to reprimand her, but fails to do so. She finishes the last of her shot before she waves goodbye to her newly made friend. Meanwhile, Father Vincent is doing background digging on Ava and come to realize that although she tries to play it cool, Sister Frances was responsible for Ava's death. Elsewhere, Ava is on a quest to make the most out of the day and she sneaks into a backyard with a swimming pool to relax and catch a little splash. Soon after she dives into the water, she realized that she had never learned how to swim before. She yells out for help and gets rescued by the owner of the house who also turns out to be her very first touch of romance. Watch the full episodes to find out how this affair turns out and what happens next to Ava. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to get more pilot recaps.